Welcome to the OPI tutorial series, where we'll explore the powerful features of OPI, a versatile terrain generation tool for Unity. You can utilize the Package Manager window to easily download and install OPI. Once OPI is downloaded and imported, simply right click in the hierarchy window to create a new terrain to begin working on. Optionally, Create a new folder in the project window by right-clicking to organize your terrain data. Add your terrain data to the designated folder. Next, create a new world generator graph asset by right-clicking in the project window. Double-click the newly created asset to open it in the separate editor window. Navigate and zoom within the node editor window using the mouse wheel to comfortably view your graph. Access the search window for nodes by pressing the spacebar or selecting Create Node from the right-click menu. Add a terrain node using the search window and press F to focus on it. Drag and drop your terrain into the OPI terrain field, ensuring that your terrain has the OPI terrain component attached. If your terrain lacks the OPI terrain component, be sure to add it. Drag and drop your terrain into the designated field. To begin working on terrain topography generation, add a topography generator node. Connect the OPI terrain ports accordingly. Introduce a Perlin noise node to create a noise map. Enabling auto generation ensures that the generator node automatically updates the connected terrain. Since the noise map's resolution is 50 and the terrain's height resolution is 513, the node stretches the noise map to match the terrain size resulting in a blocky terrain. A Terran height map resolution node allows you to retrieve the terrain's current height map resolution. Now, the noise map matches the terrain's resolution. For terrain data settings management, include a terrain data settings node and adjust the default terrain height for your specific needs. Continue by adding a cellular noise map node to introduce erosion-like details to the terrain. Then add a noise map math node to process two noise maps together. Connect the respective ports to establish the desired connections. Customize the operation of the math node to achieve your desired results. Adjust node settings as needed to fine-tune your terrain generation process. The seed value alters the noise map sampling, ensuring each map is unique. Use the scale parameter to control the viewing distance of the noise map. Adjusting this value changes how zoomed in or out the map appears. Octaves determine the number of detail levels in the noise map. Each octave adds complexity to the generated terrain. Persistence influences how much each octave contributes to the overall shape of the terrain. This parameter adjusts the amplitude of each octave, impacting the prominence of terrain features. Lacunarity determines the frequency of detail added or removed at each octave. Adjusting this value alters the density and distribution of features throughout the terrain. Noise map math node can add, subtract, mix and smooth the inputted noise maps. Add adds the values of corresponding pixels in two input noise maps, resulting in a combined noise map. Subtract. Subtracts the values of corresponding pixels in the second input noise map from the first input noise map. Mix. Blends the values of two input noise maps. Each pixel's value is a weighted average of the corresponding values in the input maps. Smooth. Smoothly blends the values of two input noise maps. Let's add a falloff node to reduce the level of the edges of the terrain. It effectively softens the edges of the terrain, making them less pronounced. To generate water in your terrain, you can utilize the Water Generator node. This node is specifically designed to create bodies of water within your terrain. If you connect the update ports of the generators, it enables a sequential triggering mechanism where the output generator is automatically activated upon the completion of the input generator's operation during the terrain generation process. Continue with adding a water generation settings node. 
You can move Minimap and generate a monitor where you want providing a customized layout. They can be toggled on off from the toolbar. Also, clicking on generator's name or anywhere in Minimap focuses the clicked location or generator. Enabling water settings will render the water plane on terrain. Make sure to assign a suitable water material to the water plane node to visualize the water in your scene. You can use sample scenes assets to create your terrain. To create a topography, let's iterate on the noise nodes and settings. By adjusting parameters such as scale, octaves, lacunarity, and persistence in the noise nodes, we can generate a diverse range of terrain features, including mountains, valleys, and plains. Experimenting with these settings allows us to sculpt the landscape according to our desired topography. Now that we have generated our island's terrain, let's add some color to it. We can use color generation nodes and settings to paint different areas of the terrain. To keep our workspace tidy and organized, let's create node groups using the right-click menu. Node groups allow us to group related nodes together, making it easier to manage and understand complex graphs. When we assign the color generation settings to the generator, it triggers the automatic generation of the texture with the base color. Since we do not connect any terrain layer to the color node, it will cover all of the terrain. To mask the color, you can use Terrain Layer Node. A Terrain Mask node will mask the connected nodes based on the selected parameters, allowing for precise control over which areas of the terrain are affected by subsequent operations. This functionality ensures that specific regions of the terrain can be targeted for modification while leaving other areas untouched. A water mask should be connected to water settings node. To populate the terrain with trees, we'll utilize the Tree Generator node. This node allows us to specify parameters for tree generation, such as tree prefabs, 
density and distribution. By connecting the tree generator node to the terrain, we can automatically scatter trees across the landscape. To add grass to the terrain, we'll utilize the Terrain Detail Generator node. This node specializes in generating terrain details like grass and meshes, enhancing the visual richness and realism of the landscape. Environments. Since it leverages Unity's built-in terrain features, its capabilities are somewhat constrained by these functions. However, it still offers powerful tools for customizing grass distribution, density and appearance allowing you to create vibrant and lifelike outdoor. To enhance the terrain's realism and visual appeal, let's incorporate a custom detail generator node. This node specializes in generating custom details like props or environmental elements, enriching the terrain with additional visual elements. With the custom detail generator node, users have the flexibility to define various parameters and settings, enabling precise control over the appearance and distribution of these custom details. Notice changing topography is not triggering the color generation because its auto-generation toggle is deactivated right now. We can manually update the generators using Generator Monitor. or we can connect them according to our workflow to automate the process.